Mr. Speaker, the VAT Act provides for refund of tax where the income tax exceeds the tax for taxable supplies and full, or, and, and full, of input, uh, and full input tax attributed to zero-rated supplies. In 2017, the VAT regulations introduced a formula for determination of the amount of refund payable to taxpayers who supply both zero-rated and standard-rated supplies. However, the application of the formula is adversely, affected, uh, adversely affecting exporters as they are not able to fully recover the excess input tax relate, relating to zero-rated supplies. To address this, I propose to adjust the VAT refund formula in order to ensure that these taxpayers are able to fully recover the portion of input tax relating to zero-rated supplies. This measure will boost Kenya's exports and make them competitive in the international market. In addition, Mr. Speaker, the value-added withholding tax system has been in operation for However, the implementation of the system has encountered challenges, the major one being a build-up of huge credits, yet the law does not provide for refund of the same to the taxpayers. Mr. Speaker, in order to address this challenge, I propose to reduce the rate of VAT withholding from 6% to This will not only help reduce the build-up of VAT refunds, but will also help enhance the cash flow of our businesses, community, and stimulate economic activities and job creation.